Jesus. Dude, this title screen though, I can't get enough of it. Just got the N7 helmet just chilling right there. <laughs> Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? <coughs> Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice. I wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC. One of the best. I grew up here with all his accomplishments. You see this picture on the kids after all. The rest. He's taking all this picture for you. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Sarah. My father to see safe man. Do things right, but don't do them at all, he says. Things are being too rash, too impatient, too worried, I'll become just like Sarah. He actually taught me how to become an inspector when I was young, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a specter? Well, I was targeted as a possible specter candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father... Amy Asha Nero is now a... Streaming Mass Effect Legendary Edition, just relaxin' in Legendary Proportions Low Meal Release Weekend. I suppose I can understand his concern. I swear that voice keeps always throwing me off. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Davis. I see what you mean, but I'll think about it. Thanks, man. Commander, you have a minute. To... I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens. Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. 
I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. You've got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. <coughs> it's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always It's not racism, not the really. Such a Karen. You seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens. Huh? No, sir. Mainly I've been downside, part of the service bears and curses. I did get a rotation in a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. I never knew my family. Grew up an orphan on Earth. Anybody in your family had a heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. So why are you out here? Just trying to get away from Earth? Mainly I wanted to serve. Protect the Alliance, save lives, you know. Glad to hear it. I'd hate to think you were out here for a free college education. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. I'm glad there won't be a problem. Anything else you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I'd buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I think she made uh -huh. straight with us. Or at least, I don't think she lied very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Hey, want me to ask I, her I am so confused. I don't think she's used to teasing. Good nature. I'm so life. confused. I don't know no, what's going on anymore. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, sir. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have. I thought it was important. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well when the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies from valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching me. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to me. Never spoke to anyone. I had a <coughs> Oh, that one. 
That's what you saw. I'm over here like, the fuck do you mean by body? <laughs> what cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it soon. Whose ship was it? It was a Polish trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. So long, Rex. wakes you up. Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. Huh. That hard. But it's more than just the silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Yeah, I made sure to make sure. I couldn't wait to go on the pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. <sighs> Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Message coming in. Patching it through. 
Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. God damn it, I keep hitting the wrong button. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Oh no. Oscar. Oh, Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. When the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever, they got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hmm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. You disrespecting my ship? Well so far. You disrespecting my ship? Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondock. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. Time Hold for another up. bowl. After I smoke this one. Admiral. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their support. <coughs> we wanted to see how effectively they can command in that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. Do you realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. 
Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. I swear the racism in this game is strong. <laughs> other justifications for the state of this vessel? None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. <laughs> Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Wee. Commander Shepard? Oh, ho, 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 it's you. Woohoo. Yeah. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani. You see who I'm talking to. Would you answer a few <laughs> questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Guess who I have the privilege of meeting right now, Raul? Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, I what wish. are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel Tell throwing Lisa. humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Oh, hold on. It's pretty clear you have an agenda here. I'm not going to be part of it. Excuse me. You can't just walk away, Commander. The public has a right to know. Isn't it true you're just a shill for the Council? <sighs> Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. 
The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. I must have realized she was worth more to them alive. Coming up with the ransom seems like the best way to ensure Dahlia's safety. That's what I thought. I did what they wanted, transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found oh. her. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Anything you can tell me about the mercs who have your sister? Pretty much what you'd expect. Rough, dangerous, and well-armed. Nothing a Spectre cannot handle, though. Can't you hire someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a Spectre. Besides, you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. How'd you find out who was behind the ransom? I have resources. Contacts and credits can go a long way. Especially if you're willing to bend the rules. I already broke the law when I paid the ransom. This couldn't make things any worse. Keep your reward. I'll bring your sister back. I promise. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right man for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. Eh, my God. No. No.
I need to get out of here. I am slowly getting really tired. <laughs> The Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Stand by, shore party. The contamination in progress. Oh, I mean, okay, we got like six o'clock to do that Lord, to you. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Oh. I want to try and keep playing this. I am also not trying to pass out <laughs> on people. Uh, now I gotta start doing all these side quests next tomorrow.